this for is this beautiful palette it's called um, I got the Nubian 2 palette and it's so beautiful and the best part about this brand is that it's black owned and so it is a considered a bomb makeup brand which is a black owned makeup brand and so I wanted to do the bomb makeup challenge um, which is basically where you do your whole face of makeup using black owned makeup products um, I haven't gotten everything yet in I haven't gone to the gotten everything yet so I was like you know what I'm gonna kind of do a series instead and just try out black black owned makeup brands um review them and kind of do like a first in impression type video and so I will be trying to do the challenge eventually once I get a few more products but yeah so let's talk about the products and let's talk about what I got so first I got this palette is so beautiful I'm so excited to use it and I also got some brushes um okay let's see I already like kind of took everything out of the packaging so there was um I bought this five set of brushes which is it comes with and sorry let me take this off okay eyeliner brush a little bit fluffier crease brush little kind of like fluffy shadow brush shadow brush and then this one's like a smaller crease brush I'm sorry I'm not doing a good job at all of showing you guys what I'm trying to show you so these are all um, of the brushes I just like kind of felt them um, they all came in a set and I think the set was I think like $18 for these five so that was like a really good deal and then I also picked up this brush um, and it's just a face brush um, really soft it feels really good I'm really excited to use this one um, and this one was seven dollars but now what everyone's really excited about this I'm so excited you guys so this is not gonna be really a tutorial I'm just gonna be sitting here like playing with it and letting you know my my opinions on it and um, if you guys want to update video later on I will definitely I can definitely do like an actual like review of like what I think of the products but for now I'm just gonna do a little bit of playing around and come on see what is in this so okay so look at these colors they are so pretty you guys I'm so excited um, just to see the quality and how they worked um, I have a mirror right here so if I'm like looking a little bit like behind it's because I'm looking at the mirror but so on this eye my right eye um, I put just Urban Decay Primer Potion like I always wear primer so I was like you know what um, let me put it with like primer which I would actually like use and um, yeah so I did one eye with primer and then this eye has no primer to test and actually see how the shadows are gonna work so um, yeah, I'm going to start off with this brush from Juvia's Place, and it's the J111 Definer Brush, and it just looks like a shadow brush. So, I am going to go in, and you guys, I really don't know. I'm just going to be playing around. I'm just literally going to be playing around. I'm going to take, actually, just kidding. I'm going to take a different brush. This is, like, totally, like, I don't know, like, just having fun right now. I'm going to take this fluffier brush, and I'm just going to take... Um, Morocco and just kind of like place this like on the outer like half of my eye. I'm going to do this. This is better. Alright. And so I'm just going to kind of like put this like honestly I'm going to put this all over my lid. Okay. Um, and I'm just putting it all over my lid and yeah and I'm just testing it out on both sides the side that does have primer and the side that doesn't have primer I'm using both sides and I just it's just a preference I really just prefer to use um, primer Okay, so pigmentation wise, you really can't tell the difference. I don't think. I think it looks very similar. Um, so that's good. That means like you don't even really like have to use a primer to like for pigmentation purposes. I don't know how they wear though. So now I'm gonna take the brush I was talking about earlier, 
I'm gonna dip it into um you guys I like can't decide there's so many pretty colors I'm gonna dip it into this color right here and I'm just gonna focus this on like the inner half of my eye I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing I'm kind of just like playing around um not really doing too much of a tutorial I'm kind of just more of like a try on I guess a try on review type video where I'm trying these on seeing what I like you guys are seeing my first impressions of it and honestly this stuff is pigmented like it's really this stuff is really bomb you guys like bomb as in both ways like bomb as in it's bomb and bomb as in it's I don't know I kind of like feel like without the primer it's a little bit more shimmery almost I don't know it looks a little bit different um okay so I'm going to take this um fluffy crease brush I'm gonna dip it into you know what like let's do some color we're gonna dip it into this um ooh, snippets okay Egypt we're gonna dip into Egypt and see how that works and I'm gonna just put a little bit into the crease and just play around with it Ooh, you guys this is really pretty I love oh my gosh this is like it's just so like pigmented if you like sorry this is like falling if you just like really look at it like look how bright that color is like I could have I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker I could have put that like just definitely like all on my lid but let's see and then we're gonna dip it and we're gonna put it on the non um, primer side but yeah so I just feel like it really is important especially for me like I want to own my own business I want to um, you know not necessarily makeup but I want to do fashion and stuff and it's just it's rep representation is so important it's important to see people that look like you doing stuff that you want to do like it's just and it's good to support black businesses it's important to support you know people of color businesses people of color friendly businesses people businesses that are majority ran by people of color because even if a brand is not necessarily like you know completely like oh like I know there was some like controversy with like um black radiance and how um I have a few products from black radiance and just how basically they weren't like black black owned but they were um their team was black and so I think it's just that's also important supporting brands that are not only black to own but also support and put women of color in those good positions and I'm going to use um Jezebel and the like outer crease and so I really just think that's important that's why um when I heard about this challenge or um this like just like you know this idea it was I really got the inspiration um because of the challenge and so I really I guess really want people doesn't